Hey everyone, Zef here. Welcome to Line Light Overview. This one is fairly confusing because straight away I don't see the VR aspect of it or the need of it. I did some research and apparently it's a conversion from a mobile, Steam, PC VR, like everywhere. Apparently very highly praised, but everything is at this point. <laughs> Sometimes simplistic things can be amazing, so... Let's see. <laughs> so Line Light seems to be an arcade puzzle game where you get to control a small line on the screen that travels across various environments and overcomes obstacles that are on its way and adding on top of that a very soothing experience. Some quotes have to like calm down honestly because it's almost calling this a game of the year and I mean fair enough like we'll see today but I can't make out much from the trailer either since there's not much going on besides the fact that you just you have a line there are some stuff that you switch places, unlock new pathways or blocking some. It might have the same effect as a Tetris effect, <laughs> that it bets on relaxing your eyes and mind with some music. It's hard to tell if it was just thrown into the December pool of games that need to be instantly out for Christmas or is just a coincidence, but we have to essentially jump into the game to see what's going on because it's a big mystery to me, so let's see. <laughs> What, there's a storyline or something? Ah, oh, we actually steal it. I thought it's automatic. That makes more sense. And it's actually based on the direction you have a joystick. I thought we'd do it manually. Okay. <laughs> Wait, let me just go because... Okay, I see. <laughs> it took me a while. What? Okay, I guess those are enemies. Yeah, this is kind of Tetris y, like. Ah, you're going up. No, no. <laughs> it's very similar gameplay. Oh. Not only they can destroy you, they also help. Oh, we need to redirect their path of doing things. 
Yeah, it's not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but I need to like think. Okay. <laughs> it's only the start and if it's like that complicated, I mean it's not that hard, but it needs thinking. And I guess it's like a proper introduction of the features. Egyptian Ank. Oh my god. Oh. Um. Just one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's just more and more stuff happening. Okay, well, I get it. The thing is that, like I mentioned, the overview. I don't see the VR aspect of it. Yes, you can see the environment and yeah, your progress all the way. Is there a need for it? That's essentially why it was born to be mobile, like on the go to play whenever you have time. Besides that, I don't see the point converting that to quest. It's cool. I just don't see myself getting into the headset specifically to play this. It's cool and all, like I really dig the gameplay and the features it presents. But if it would be like an AR experience with the futuristic glasses to just put on your head with no comfort kind of issues whatsoever, then yeah, that's great. But other experiences offer like more, I don't know how to explain to you. If you're like a really junky puzzler, then yeah. I don't have a lot of notes anyways, because this seems like a fully fledged project that does not need really more. Oh shit, my ass, what the fuck? Ew, oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> I need to go, I, yeah, this is a horror game now. 